Stacked is launching an online store where you'll be able to find a curated collection of both home and decor brands. Visit stackedhomes.com slash store and join our mailing list for exclusive updates. When my guy friends come over, they're actually very envy because usually this style, it's more for like bachelors or for like man cave. So I think I'm super lucky because my wife actually loves this concept. Hi, I'm Alfred. And I'm April. Uh, we own a Japanese restaurant called Monzen in Serangoon Gardens. This is a 1,680 square feet HDB mansionette in Aokang. We spent almost 250 to 300k. We decided to buy a HDB mansionette because waiting for a BTO, it's a bit too long and the size is too small for our liking. The big space gives us a lot of flexibility to renovate the place as our dream home. The neighbourhood is very quiet and we are very close to the Aokang MRT station, schools and uh, Pongo Park. The style that we went for is modern brutalist. It's like Bruce Wayne meets Batman. And we use a lot of rough textures and the heavy materials combined with straight lines. We are trying to make imperfection perfect when combined together. So our entryway is inspired by The Dark Knight. It's a scene where Bruce Wayne was exiting his bad garage and then the lights were gradually turning off. We program our smart home to do the opposite of that, which is when we enter the house, ceiling lights will just gradually turn on when we walk into the house. The rock textured wall actually mimics uh, the bat cave and the shoe cabinet, uh, it's mirrored, gives an illusion that it has a bigger space. The last mirror panel acts as a hidden door into the rest of the house. Beside our entryway, we have a Joker-themed painting that was done by our lovely ID, and it really gives incredible splash of colours to this very dark theme house. In the pantry area, you can see that I have a concrete looking espresso machine. You can't find the two that are alike. For the kitchen, we actually took down the storeroom and hacked the existing kitchen walls for an open concept kitchen. And also, we made all our drawers and cabinets uh, seamless by using a bloom system. The highlight of our kitchen is our 2.4 meter island, which also acts as our dining table, workspace, and our favorite place to host our family and friends. My husband likes to cook, and I love to bake, so it also acts as a prep table. And then because we made it at a height where it's comfortable for us to like prep when we are standing up as well. Because we are restaurant owners, we know how easy it is to clean a stainless steel countertop, so that is the material that we use for our island. Because we are couch potatoes, we actually love the movie theatre experience. We have a reclining couch that we actually source for a very long time to get the gold class feel. Also, we program our smart home with a single command to dim almost all lights and close our curtains for us. Because we hacked down our storeroom, well, we have to compensate by building more carpentry for storage. We do not want our cabinets to look too typical. We laminated it with fluted panels. It also acts as like hidden doors and you can't really see that it is a cabinet. And it is big enough for us to put a lot of things and it spans across the length of our living room. We enclose the entire balcony with full-length windows so that we do not sacrifice the high ceiling that HDB Mansionette provides us with. We built a similar settee beside the stairs to act as a cosy corner for us to read have a glass of wine or have a private conversation. The wall leading up to the second story is actually inspired by Tadao Endo's concrete slab. Our textured paint specialists actually hand plastered every single slab leading up to the second level ceiling. 
The master bedroom was created by combining two common bedrooms into one. We wanted to incorporate the materials used on the first floor into our bed head design. We used the rock textured walls that was used in the entryway and also the fluted panels to create the bed head. The original second level toilet was a common toilet. So we sealed the entrance and created an ensuite for our master bedroom. We were a little adventurous and created glass walls instead of um, concrete yeah. walls. Living a duck team home makes the two of us want to stay home all the time. The design is timeless and cosy. Even though it's duck team, we have enough windows at both ends of our living room to brighten up the area. And at night, we have like cove lighting to set up like the mood to let us unwind after a long day. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.